<clears throat> say all right so first and foremost i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh by shemmy or shai by shemmy kakodash we say double answer pastors and elders agree with us on a rule of teachers or pastors and shoot and we say salutations so we are coming to the pushing wood on truth and say dean and the old you know constantly in season on season with special one you know once again going into a video here now now this video might be in, in two parts you know but this 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 one here that i'm doing now but basically going into how when things happen you know like 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 calamity you know chaos you know pain come upon people that is when they want to call upon the lord you know that is when they want to turn to the lord but when when they're when they're on the free time you know, things nice things good right what they want to do what they want to do is is, is cough it's corn you know make every go on go online make a joke and so forth you know so in other words they they they, they basically are in this generation and in this society that we're in they are ashamed of worshiping the lord you know recently there was a girl you know she was um she was basically um being joked about you know she was trending and being joked about because um you know she she nice she, she nice you know she beautiful and, and and she was basically being being um on the forefront because she was reading she bible and quoting scriptures and telling people what it was wrong and so forth now we know when they go to the scriptures that they talk about a woman and so forth right but it's just to show you that that reading these scriptures believing in these scriptures and so forth is like a it's like a sin outside here to these people and that's the same thing when you when we're out today on the streets you know it's in the streets the corners even in the comments they come and born and so forth you see people come to scoff the scorn now we know with the scriptures the lord the lord talk about scoffers and scorners they will come but the time that we're living in is that people do even people they are ashamed to worship the lord they are ashamed they basically are ashamed to see they believe in the lord but when things arise, you know, when 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 the hardship arise or they're going through some sort of pain, that is when they want to turn to the Lord. That is when there was somebody pray for them. That is when they, that is when there was somebody um. That is when that is when they will, the Lord come and save them and so forth, and the Lord make it clear for them that he that he would laugh. Now, I wasn't going to start with this scripture, but let, let me get that one time. I'm going to Jeremiah chapter 7 verse um Jeremiah chapter 7 verse verse 16 right verse 16 this Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 16 it said therefore pray not thou for this people neither lift up cry nor pray for them pray for them you see neither make intercession to me for I will not hear thee. He said, Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me. For I will not hear thee. You know, son, and that's what the Lord saying. Do, do even pray for them. So when these, these wicked people come and they ask, you know, pray for them and and, and ask the Lord, no, y'all in your good times, you know, you all don't want to hear nothing about the Lord. You all scoff and scorn. You know, again, when it, like this 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 screenshot I have up here. I did a video on this last week or a week before, and when you watch the conversation, uh, all these jakes, because majority of these people here is jakes, right? When they, when you watch the conversation, it's them scoffing and scoffing against the scriptures. But they, this this be the same people, right? This be the same people that when something happen, you know, when something happen, they, they want they want, they they're begging for people to pray for them. They're begging for people to 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 to, 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 to let the, um you know like, pray for me, let the Lord come and I'm healed, man, so forth. You know when they're going through trials and tribulations that is when they want to turn to the lord and pray unto the lord you understand the way the lord come and save them but in their spare time they scope the scorn you know they shun they look down upon people that read the scriptures and so forth this is the time that we're in where where we're worshiping the lord is like a sin where reading the scriptures is like a sin that is the time that, that, that is the time that we're in especially when they come online in these social media sites when you post a scripture and, and so forth you, you see more hate than love especially when they're condemning some someone for the wrong actions right so i'm um, jumping to our next scripture you know i'm gonna jump to the book of isaiah right this is the book of isaiah chapter 65 
You see the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse 12. It said, Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I speak, ye did not hear. But did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. And there is it again. This is the generation we're living in. They all choose to delight in the things the Lord, the Lord tell it to stay away from. The things that the Lord say, yo, don't take part in, you know, don't take part, this is sin. You know, these, these people delight in sin. They love that, they love that filthiness. You know, because if you watch this conversation here, this is, this they say, why did we stop writing the Bible? I have something I want to put in. Now, this, this person here from my understanding is basically, he, he in the, um, I didn't use the right term because you know YouTube and so forth. He in the um, you on the opposite side of the road, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, you doing the wrong track, right? Um, and 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 the other comments was I always joke that that it's time for the third testament, a final testament. No, no, this no, I've been saying that these people don't realize that they are in the Bible. Y'all don't like. Oh, you all, the thing about this is that you all don't like the, the way you all fit. You understand? You all don't fit nothing good. You all fit the ones, you all, you, all, you, all, you all being the wicked. You know, well, we know you saw the wicked, the wicked, wicked, but you all are wicked as well. You all are the ones that be numbered, um, that be numbered to the sword. You understand? Let's say, let's say you all are the, um, the wicked and adulterous generation. You know, you all fit, you all, you all in the scriptures. Your name wouldn't be there, literally your name, but you fit a role. You know, everyone fit a role in the scriptures. Right? So this person mark, if a second Bible was written, a lot of us would be in it. And you think about this, are you all in it right now? <laughs> you all in it. Right? See, um, somebody, somebody mark, uh, my ass would definitely be in it. Everything in the Bible hasn't even come true yet. So as you can see, this, this is... And somebody mark a fella is because it won't ever come true. Now, this is the kind of things you get online. You find more disbelievers than believers. And when I say true to the word, the believers true to the word. Because again, you go online and see Christians. But they don't even believe in the word. They, they, they don't even believe in, his, in, in, in the scriptures. They believe in what, in what, in what Pastor Pork Chop had to say. But they don't believe in what the Lord had to say. But nonetheless, go back to the scripture. It says, therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I call, you did not answer. When I speak, you did not hear. So why, why should the Lord answer you? No. You know? It say, um, it say, but that evil before mine eyes. And that is, that, is, that, is what they, that is what they continue to do. They continue to do evil before mine eyes. But when he called, he tell them to, um, to repent. You understand? Cease from the wickedness you do. And they, 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 they choose not to do that. They continue to do it. They scorn, they scorn like what they're doing here. You know, again, because why they could walk. They again, these 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 jigs in Babylon and, and nothing can happen to the Babylon right now. You know, in Babylon too long. But soon, when when Tom and something take this place, that is when the, that is now all the joke and thing they used to make online. That now they want to kneel down and pray. You understand? Now they want to know how to worship the Lord. It say, it say, when I speak, he did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and they choose that way, and they lighten not, and they choose it. That is where they continue to do this. All these things here, they, they, they choose anything to, um, that the Lord delighted not, and they uphold those things higher than the Lord. Let me read verse 13. It said, Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice. But ye shall be ashamed. You understand? And ye shall be ashamed. You see, the Lord's servants, the Lord, the Lord go watch over his servants. But you all that are not servants, you all that, that, that are basically enemies, you all will be ashamed. See, the thing, to, the thing with Jake is that everything for them is a joke. Especially when they come on the internet. The, you remember the things they be you're saying on the internet, the things that they are pulling here, it could be used against you. You understand? <laughs> so do feel, do feel in the time to come, the wickedness you're promoting, the wickedness you're indulging in. Now all of a sudden, when you call upon the Lord, the Lord saying, you're not going here. He ain't going to answer you. 
You know, your prayers go, going to be an abomination unto him because they didn't want to hear. I'm going to jump to Isaiah chapter 66, verse 4. It say, um, it say, <clears throat> it say, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Right? And bring the fears upon them. And Isaiah also will bring the fears. And again, the things that these people fear are coming upon them soon. Again, they're happy right now. They can come and post online. They can be on the internet all day, you know, posting, scoffing, talking against the Lord, saying these kind of things, making a joke. You understand? But the things that fear, the things that the fear, which is like world wars, is like famines and all these things, the Lord won't bring it upon them. Because why? They, they're not good at state right now. They think, they think everything nice. Right? It's, um, it's say, I also will choose the delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I speak, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes, and I choose that in which I delighted not. So if you ain't hearing the word, how you expect the Lord? If you ain't hearing and you're not by the mighty word, how you expect the Lord to, to help you? I expect the Lord to save you. The Lord won't. Because it's true. That's when he called, he ain't answer. What he did was scoff. I ain't want to hear the word right now. You, you, you just hear them. You, just, you, you see the kind of comments they just leave. You see the kind of things they be saying even on the streets. You feel these people at time, these people, are, these people rather go in a party, a boat ride. That is what they, 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 they said. They, they choose the things in which he delighted not. Right? You see, I'm going to jump to verse 5. And I'm going to read over verse 4. You see, I, I also will choose their delusions and will bring the fears upon them. Because when I call, none did answer. When I speak, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes and choose that in which I delighted not. It says, verse 5, Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Your bedroom that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear. So I can say, But he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. So all these people here is going to do, but be ashamed. Again, right now they are ashamed of worshiping the Lord. Posting a scripture is like a sin to them. Seeing somebody post a scripture is like a sin to them. Seeing someone talk about the Lord, seeing someone stand up talking about it is like a sin. That's why in this time that we live in, you see more evil doers than people are doing good. You find more people scoffing against the word and not believing in the word and people that actually believe in it. But the, them so are going to be well ashamed. Right, I'm gonna jump to I'm gonna go to Proverbs. Right, um, jump to Proverbs. Well, I'll jump to the script in Jeremiah. Right, I'm gonna jump to Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, right? Um, verse 22, we'll start from verse 22. They say, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. They say, and that's the thing, they say, What? How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Let's watch this whole, this whole conversation here, right? And what she kind of things they say, you know? They say, how long you simple ones will, lo will love simplicity and the scorners delight in the scorning. And they see, the, the scorners delight in the scorning. And you know, this person, it, it won't ever come true. The word that it will never come true. Some people, you know, they delight in that. Yeah, you know, I say, and fools hate knowledge. They say, verse 23, it said, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make, make know my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded because just to say majority of these people nobody know, know about the men who is everybody calling and preaching and so forth. You just hear them talk about it, they say them mention it and so forth. You know what I, I could do a, I could do a video on that a day. Just type in any search bar on Twitter, Hebrew Israelites, and you're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff there. I did recently and I see a whole bunch of stuff. You know? I say turn you at my reproof. 
He said, Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And as you Lord telling you, you will laugh at the calamity. When calamity comes, you go laugh. You understand? When your fear cometh, you say you go mock. Because why? You ain't want to, you ain't want to turn back. You refuse to listen to the Lord. You, you know? It's um, verse 27. It says, When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. But I will not answer. So that the Lord telling you, you see, when, when, when the fear come in, the, the shock, the desolation come, the destruction come, that's all will win. You understand? You see, you see, when the stress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me. So all this joke they're making here, when them stuff, when hardship come, the anguish, death, destruction, these things come, that is when they want to call upon the Lord. And you usually see that with Jake. Everything with Jake is last minute. It's only when stuff that happened to them, all of a sudden they want to turn. You know, all of a sudden they want to mock the Lord, all of a sudden they want to search the Lord. You remember all the prophecies talk about the farm and the wood. So even in the time when all they want to look for the Lord, you all won't be able to find him. Right? They say, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. The Lord telling you, hey, that is when all they go call upon me. He, he ain't going to answer because it's too late. It's too late. They say, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right? They say, for for. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. And they, some, they, they hate, again, they see that, they see the hate. They hate knowledge and, they and, um, and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. And that is the thing. They despise, you see, the, 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 they despise the half of the Lord. You know, son, they said, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So, yeah, you reap what is so. <laughs> you all are things coming. Right, they say, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet, um, quiet from the fear of evil. So them that listen hearken unto the Lord will obviously be safe. But them that not, eh, that things come unto you all. That is when all they go, no, when the things come upon, that is when all they want to turn back to, to, to the Lord. That is when all they want to um, be saved. That is when all, they, all of a sudden all they want to listen now. And I said, but it could be what the Lord, Lord say, you will not hear. You know, you go and hear that. You all are, you all are to receive, you all are to receive the, the you, you all are to receive the stuff that, that, that you all, um, you all are to reap the stuff that you all sow. You know, son? So all the scoffing and scolding and, and not believing, you all going to face pain soon. You know, and again, plenty of them just be saying this online. You know? But underneath, uh, behind it, you know, they, 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 they just to show you that, and that is going into my next video that I will do. They are ashamed to worship the Lord. This one here today is how, this one here today is going into basically um, the same thing, but a different um, topic on it, you know. But the next one I'll do is they're ashamed to worship the Lord. They, they, they're they ashamed to, to worship the Lord in front of men. You know, son? And these days where you just get them here, I see it's like a, it's like a sin post in a scripture. It's like a sin doing a video for the Lord. It's like a sin reading the Bible. But tell these people about partying, lying, all this stuff. They're in it. You know, that is what they want to hear. But they are judgment to receive. As scripture said, that is what they receive the fruit of their own way. Right? So, hey, with that, we give all praises and our glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashemi, Oshai, Ba'ashemi, Kakodash. We tell them that our apostles and elders agree with us and our well out teachers and our apostles and the truth. And we see salutations to all the archivists, the pushing wood on Twitter and say, Dean and the out. You know, constantly in season on season, we say, Shalom.